Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, if you've been here for a long time, you know this is a common occurrence where I will be consistent with my videos and then I just kind of disappear. <laughs> it's a magic trick, I disappear for a little while. Um, it's been a few months since I uploaded a video, um, but I wanted to get back on here and get back in the swing of things. Um, honestly, I just go through a lot of weird phases where I have time to do videos and then I don't. I uh, just recently started a new job um, and uh, it's summertime so I'm doing a lot of different things. As you can see we're in a different room. <laughs> um, this is my guest room slash um, reading room so uh, you're here with all of my books. Um, there's a lot more up there and very low to the ground. The chair I'm in is very low. For this video, I just want to um, kind of catch up with you guys and talk to you about my favorite books that I've read over the last few months. It has obviously been a while and I haven't been doing TBRs and like monthly wrap ups. So um, I haven't really talked about any books that I have read. There's going to be some unpopular opinions here. There's some books I want to talk about that there was tons of hype around and I'm kind of not really into them. But um, majority of what we're going to be talking about is my favorite books I have read over the last couple months. So, if you want to see what that is, keep watching. So I don't know if we've talked about this book on my channel, but I wanted to bring it up because it has been my favorite book of this year to the point where I've read it twice. But that is Sarah J. Mask. It is her Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. I absolutely love this book. This was probably my second or third fantasy book I've ever read. Um, so it was a lot for me to get into at first. I had to kind of like learn how to read fantasy and learn the worlds and the different types of characters. And it was just really fun for me. I got really into it. I loved it so much. I cried my little heart out to so many parts of this book and it just broke me. I'm really happy that I found Sarah J Mass books because it has like launched me into the fantasy world and I'm loving it but love 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 this book. And if you guys see me sweating a ton like the reason I don't have makeup on and stuff we are in the middle of a heat wave here and um, I can't be bothered to wear makeup because I will just sweat it off and I'm about to be putting this hair up because it is just um, sticking to me everywhere. Okay. okay, and the second book I want to talk about is another one that I just absolutely loved. Um, it was so much fun and that is Sing Me Forgotten by Jessica S. Olson. This book is so fun. It was a retelling of Phantom of the Opera but instead of a male character it is a female character and it was incredible. I loved it so much. I flew through it. It didn't take me long to read this at all. I actually got this as an ARC, so I read it as an ebook, and then the day it launched, I had to go out and get it because, <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> because the cover is just so stunning. Like, it's one of my favorite character, or favorite covers. Um, the colors are beautiful. The little bottle is gorgeous. Um, it's just just incredible. Okay, another series I found this year because I just started reading fantasy, another Sarah J Mass, and that is the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I read the entire series this year and I love them so much. So, so good. There are four books in this, uh, in the main series, and then the last one that just came out is um, kind of a spin-off. So a different character, one of the sisters. But I love this book. I love getting to know all the characters. I loved uh, annotating. All of the books I read are completely annotated. And I absolutely love Feyre. And the romance in this book is so good. I loved it. I can't, I don't have enough good things to say about this. This is one of those series that I'm going to wish that I could read for the first time again. Okay, the next book, we're kind of switching up the genre a little bit. Um, this is a romance and... <laughs> bitch! Okay, so this is The Hating Game and I... Oh my god, I love this book. This might be tied with Crescent City as my favorite book this year because it is like chef's kiss. So freaking good. 
Um, it's about two people who work together in this office and um, they're competing for the same uh, promotion and they hate each other. And so it's basically them going back and forth. The banter is so good and of course they end up falling for each other and it's just so much fun. I would be sitting on the couch reading it and I would just be giggling and I would be just like bouncing in my seat just so in love with this story. My husband just laughed at me the whole time. He's like, good lord woman, get yourself together. But I will be rereading this one multiple times and it's about to be a movie and I am so excited to watch that movie. Ah, seriously, stop watching this movie, go to the store and buy this damn book and read it and then read it again. I love it so much. So this next book I found, I think kind of by accident, I was just walking through the store and I just thought the cover was beautiful. Um, had I heard anything about it, but now I'm starting to see it on bookstagram and stuff like that. But it is Ash Princess and this is by Laura Sebastian and holy crap, I'm so happy I found this because um, no one told me about it. I bought it and I read it right away and I just fell in love with the story, with the worlds, with the characters and I've been having so much fun getting to know this world and these uh, awesome characters in this book. There are three uh, books to this one and I wanted to include the second one because I haven't read the third one yet. I have it, just haven't read it yet. Um, and that's Lady Smoke. And these covers, they're just so pretty. I don't know why this one's not embossed, so that kind of bothers me because the other two are embossed, but, or this one's the only embossed one, I can't remember. I think this is the only embossed one, which makes me upset because I think they would be beautiful. But this series is so good. It is about this girl who, um, her, like, country was overran when she was a young girl and um, the country that like took over her uh, land held her as prisoner and kind of used her as punishment to uh, keep her people in check but she gets sick of it and she's like bitch I am the queen of this land I am gonna take my throne back um, so it's just the story of her uh, overcoming captivity and uh, working to take over her throne again and get her people safe and it's just it's so much fun I love them you need to read them another book is uh, the death of Vivek OG and I think I might have talked about this on my channel before but I wanted to include it because it's just so freaking good it's such a beautiful and powerful read that I think it just needs more and more love and I honestly don't see this book a lot on like bookstagram and book talk and booktube and all this stuff but it's just a really beautiful read and I'll read you a little bit of the synopsis one afternoon in a town in southern southeastern Nigeria a mother opens her front door to discover her son's body wrapped in colorful fabric at her feet what follows is the tumultuous, heart-wrenching story of one family's struggle to understand a child whose spirit is both gentle and mysterious. Raised by a distant father and a compassionate but overprotective mother, Vivek Oji suffers disorienting blackouts, moments of disconnection between self and surroundings. As adolescence leads to adulthood, Vivek finds solace in friendships with the warm, boisterous daughters of the Niger, Niger wives, foreign-born women married to Nigerian men. But Vivek's closest bond is with Osita? Uh, the worldly high-spirited cousin whose teasing confidence makes a guarded private life. As their relationship deepens and Osita struggles to understand Vivek's escalating crisis, the mystery gives way to a heart-stopping act of violence in a moment of exhilarating freedom. <sighs> it is so good. I just wanted to include this and give it another shout out because I don't see it enough and I don't see people talking about it enough, but it is so, so so good. So now I want to talk about some uh, misses and some like near misses that I've read. One that was kind of like, it was a miss actually. I didn't even finish it. It's called Royally Crushed, A Crazy Royal Love, book number one. It's a romance about like this princess who um, she's like fifth in line for the crown or cr the crown. She's like fifth in line for the crown and she's looking for an adventure. So she like signs up to be part of this reality TV show and that like sends her out to the jungle with this co-star who's really attractive and she has to like obviously survive in this wilderness and I made it to about the point where they got dropped off in the wilderness 
and I had to put it down because the reading was too like cutesy and a little too all over the place and it was just really hard for me to get into the story. So at about 42% I had to put it down. Uh, this one, I've actually heard a lot about this book and it was really hard for me to get into. Um, I might try to read it again but it was called Good Company and this is another one that I did not finish. I just thought that the writing was not for me. I had a really hard time connecting with the characters and um, overall the story was just a little, I don't know, it was just odd to me. I got about 25% into this one and I put it down and moved on. And this next one might actually be an unpopular opinion, although I have talked to a couple people who feel kind of the same way I do. And it's actually the book that I'm currently reading. I read uh, the first two and I really, really enjoyed them. But The Crown of Gilded Bones. <laughs> okay, so I'm calling this a near miss because I'm going to finish it. Um, if you guys have read this series, the second book left off on like this crazy cliffhanger that just had me like screaming like, holy shit. Um, and then when I was at work, I like couldn't wait to get home to start the second book or the third book. I get home, I start reading it, it picks up right where the last one left off, so it was so intense and so good, and I was so into it, and then about 15, 20% in, it just fucking dive bombed. <laughs> it was so bad. I almost quit reading this like 10 times. Dude, probably more than that. I almost stopped reading. I'm now... I'm at like 58% done. I'm on page 383 and it's picked back up and I'm into it again. Um, but I would say about halfway or a little more than half, it was a struggle. I was so grossed out by <laughs> the story and gross out might not be the right way to say it, but um, like the, there was so much sex. Like right now I'm at the point where I'm just skipping the sex scenes and I love a smutty book. I love a good sex scene. I love all of it. I love the like rawness of it. But this is just all the time to the point where it's like, can we get back to the story? Can we start like progressing in the plot? Um, and it's just, it's just too much. And um, the two characters who are having sex all the time, one can't say something without the other wanting to rip his clothes off. The other can't say something without like, them ripping their clothes off it's just it is all the time and then another thing that i've noticed a lot in this book the same thing is repeated over and over and over like it's just constant the two main characters are constantly telling each other how worthy they are of each other um and constantly like going through the same conversation of how much they love each other and how much they care about each other and how much they they look after each other and it's just I'm glad I pushed through because the story is starting to progress again. The sex has subsided and the plot is moving along and it's starting to get really exciting again and I hope it continues on because she announced the fourth book of this series and I really want this one to finish strong so that I want to continue the series. All that to say, I did love the first two books. I did. I loved them. Um, and it's just an odd experience this first half. So I'm going to, I'm going to push through. Okay. Okay. So those are the books that I have read so far this year that I really freaking enjoy. And there's just a few that are misses, complete misses, foul ball, not my jam. Um, and then there's, uh, just that one that was a near miss. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, of course, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what your favorite read is, your least favorite read, and your most anticipated read is of this year. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.